history of domesticating chickens goes back to 2000 BC. According to historical records, it is estimated that the first ancestors of today's chickens lived in Southeast Asia. It is known that four wild chicken species that still exist were the origins of the modern chickens. <laughs> Domesticated chickens spread initially from Southeast Asia to Europe through the tribes in the Russian steppes. It is believed that domestication in India is much later than Southeast Asia. The commercial development of domestic poultry accelerates at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. The poultry farms, which reached high production capacity thanks to the first modern poultry houses where heat, light, and humidity could be controlled, widespread in the 1920s in the UK and after the Second World War in the United States. In the previous years, chicken meat production ranked second following the egg production, and only old hens, which stopped laying eggs, were sold for their meat. However, with the fast development of technology in the mid-20th century as a specialized industry, chicken meat production overtook the egg industry. Improvements and inventions on coop building methods, equipment and feeding were increased, and chicken and egg production rapidly developed, turning into a giant industry. Chicken industry has found a stronghold in the markets since the production time in chicken meat industry is very short. Intensive production is possible in the unit area. Labor is cheaper compared to other agricultural enterprises, and chicken meat is cheaper than red meat. Although fat and energy content is lower in poultry such as chicken, turkey, duck, and goose compared to beef and other types of meat, they are richer in protein. An egg is a very rich source of minerals, vitamins, and proteins, tasty and easy to digest. Chicken meat and products contain all the necessary amino acids in balanced and sufficient amounts, along with containing low fat and cholesterol and being a rich source of protein. Chicken is packed with B2, B6, and B12 vitamins. The leading countries in broiler production are Brazil and China with over 13 million tons and the European Union with 11 million tons. While global chicken production was 7.6 million tons in 1961, today it is more than 90 million tons. Chicken and its products are in a key position in terms of today's biggest problem, malnutrition, because chicken, by nature, is one of the lowest cost products that can be produced fast and easy. Today, chickens are bred for meat and eggs, and both are high yielding production. During the laying period, average number of eggs goes up to 330. It is possible to obtain one kilo of live weight with 1.6 kilograms of feed. Increasing and improving chicken production seems to be a great opportunity for the future of our planet. Chicken also creates a large-scale economy through the advanced processing industry products such as sausage, sukuk, fermented sausage, jambone, and salami. In addition to this, chicken meat, which is made into dough with spices, is brought to the molds to take the form of portions and mixed with special blended flour, then cooked and frozen. Also, semi-cooked chicken products such as schnitzel, nuggets, and doner kebab are prepared in five minutes and a good alternative for those living in a fast-paced city life. One other profit item of chicken products is special sauced chicken menus in fast food stores competing with one another and increasing rapidly in the recent years. The first stop of live mature chickens after the six weeks of growth period is slaughterhouses. In Muslim countries, chickens are slaughtered according to Islamic rules. 
while in many countries it is performed with machines. Chickens become cooled at zero degrees to four degrees Celsius and packaged product in just two to five hours. After they are slaughtered in chicken processing facilities, some of these chickens are sent to cold storage after passing through the quality control. Some of them are packed in bags, and the remaining part is sent to the cutting and further processing for product diversification. Chicken meat is more prone to spoilage compared to red meat. Therefore, storing temperature and microorganism content at the beginning of the storing have a direct influence on the quality meat. Chicken can be stored as fresh and frozen. Fresh products are distributed to stores as cooled at zero degrees Celsius to four degrees Celsius with the two-week shelf life without the use of cold chain. The shelf life of frozen products varies between six to 24 months depending on the storing temperature and whether they are carcass or chunks of meat. Freezing is carried out in quick freezing rooms at minus negative 35 to minus 40 degrees Celsius, and frozen products should be kept in rooms with a fixed temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius. Breeding chicken requires a full equipped organization. Feed and chicken supply is very important. Today, the capacities of chicken farms are improving fast. Global chicken production profits have already outrun the profits from cattle and sheep production with over 100 million tons. It is expected to overtake the pig industry, which today ranks first with over 120 million tons in 2020. Statistics show that the highest meat production is in chicken industry and it will continue increasing. Since chicken has a high yielding potential and is the cheapest affordable protein source, it looks promising in solving our nutritional problems in the future of our planet.